Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 15, The Slope of a Non-Vertical Line. And there it is. This is the first time we have called this slope. Okay, so now we're going from one term that we've used in the past to a new term, which is called slope, which means the same thing as before. So we'll discuss that briefly in the lesson ahead. Okay, so opening exercise says we have two graphs. We have graph A with this line here and graph B with this line here. And A says which graph is steeper? Well, if I were riding a bicycle, okay, and this was a bicycle or a car or whatever, and then I have another one here, well, which one is steeper? Which one is gonna have more trouble going up that hill? And obviously graph B is steeper. Okay, steeper incline. All right, now it says write directions that explain how to move from one point on the graph to the other for both graph A and graph B. So let me get this car out of the way here. And so here is my first point. All right, and then here is my other point. So I want to explain how to get from here to here. Well, I wouldn't say go diagonally, one, two, three squares because that's not accurate enough. So we can't cut through. So think of this as streets. We can't cut through like houses and yards with fences and swimming pools and so forth. So if I wanted to get from here to here and the grid were streets, then I would have to go north or up two blocks. So I'm gonna go up two and then, I was, and then I'd have to turn right and then I'd have to go to the right, one, two, three. So that's positive three. Okay, so the direction, write the directions that explain how to move. So to get from the first point here to this point here, and why am I going that direction? Well, it's just like reading a book. You go from left to right. Okay, so I'm going to start at this point, and I, it's hard to read this scale, so that's okay. I'm just going to say from, I'm going to call this point A, and I'll call this point B. So I'd say from point A comma go up to can't write today go up to comma and write three. Okay, so now I'm going to come over to this one here, and I'll call this point C, and this point D, just so we aren't using the same points. And again, I can't cut through people's yards. If I'm here and I want to get to this house, I have to go down the street to this corner, turn right, and go to that corner. So, in order to get from C to D, I have to go up one, two, three, four, until I'm on the same street as this one or same level same altitude on the on the y so i went up four and then i'm going to turn and i'm going to go to the right three and they're both positive directions up and right are positive so to explain what i did here it'd be from point c go up four and right three okay so now part c says write the directions from part b as ratios and then compare the ratios okay so what they mean there is we're going to say in the first line to get from point a to point b we went up two and then over three notice i said up two over three so that's my ratio. And write the directions from part B as a ratio and then compare their ratio. So this one is two thirds and I'll put this one over here. So we went up four over three. So four over three. So if I look at these as fractions, two thirds is less than one. Four thirds is one and one third. That's greater than one. So with a greater number as a ratio, the steeper our slope is. So now I'm going to say two thirds is less than four thirds.
Okay. Okay, so now you try this one. So here's our pair number one for you to try. Which graph is steeper? And so if we were, again, driving a car or riding a bicycle, this would definitely be steeper than this here. So which graph is steeper? Graph A. Which direction? Write directions that explain the move from one point to the other. So I'd put an A here, put a B here, and I have to go up one, two, three, four. So that's up four until I got to the level that this point is on. And then I turn right and I go one, two, three, four, five. So that's to the right five, and that's a positive five. So actually, I should have arrows here showing what direction I went. I went up four and then right five. So that's what I would say from point A, comma, go up four and right five. And this line, let's call this C and this D, notice that this is almost on the same level. It only went up one, so I'm going to go up one, and then I'm going to turn, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that was a distance of 12. So it says write the directions from part P. Oh, I didn't do this yet. From point C, go up 1 and write 12. Now we're going to go and write the directions from part B as a ratio, and then compare the ratios. All right, so this graph here, we went up 4 and then over 5. And this one, we went up 1 over 12. 4 fifths is more than 1 twelfth. So 4 fifths is greater than 1 twelfth, so this is steeper. Okay, so more practice here. Again, this is point A, and this is point B. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 7, and then I'm going to turn and go to the right one. So which graph is steeper? Obviously, this is very steep compared to this one, so graph A is steeper. And then write the directions that explain how to move. So from point A, go up, seven, and right, one. Okay, so now this one has a point here. And I'll call that C and call this one D. So in order to get from C to D, I first have to go up 3 and then turn right and go to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so from point C, go up 3 and right 6. And I should be saying to get to point D or whatever, but that's okay. All right, so now that we've done that, write the directions from part B as a ratio, and then compare the ratios. How does the relation of the graph, which graph was steeper in part A? How does this relate to which is steeper? So in A... I went up 7 over 1, 7 over 1. This one I went up 3 over 6. All right, 7 over 1 is 7. 3 over 6 is 1 half. 7 is obviously greater than 1 half. So graph A is steeper.
Okay, so hopefully you did this one. Which graph is steeper? I would say graph B and Y. So I'm going to write directions. I'm going to call that point A and call this point B. So this was up one and then to the right one, two, three, four, five, to the right five. Okay, so from point A, A, go up one and right five. And while I'm doing this, since this is routine now, I'm going to make that a ratio, one up one over five. The next graph, I'm going to start at C and eventually get to B by going up one, two, three, four, and then turning and going to the right one. So from point C, go up four and right one. So up four over one is a slope of four, and this is a slope of one-fifth. Obviously, four is greater than a fifth. So graph B is steeper. Okay, and once again, quickly now, I'm going to just start at A and go up to B, which graph is steeper. This one, I, it's hard to tell, so I'm not going to answer A yet. Sometimes it's difficult to tell just by looking, so I'm going to wait and I'm going to skip part A, and I'm going to go to part B and explain how many points, explain how to get from point A to point B, and then do a ratio, and then I will answer point A. So I'm going to go up one, two, three, four. That's up four. And then I'm going to turn right, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So that's up four over four. Okay, so I'm going to say from point A, go up four and right four. And my ratio is four over four. Okay, now I'm going to go over to this line, call this C, call this D, and I'm going to go up one, two, three, so that's plus three, and then I'm going to turn and go to the right, one, two, three, so that's to the right three. So, from point C, go up three and right three. Okay, so I'm going to write that as a ratio, 3 over 3. Well, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so they both have a slope of 1. Which graph is steeper? Neither. They have, they have the same slope. Okay, so now we're doing an, ex an exercise, and it says to use your transparency to find the slope of each line if needed. So it says, what is the slope of this non-vertical line? Okay, so there's a point P here, there's a point R here, and there's a point Q here. Okay, so the reason they gave us this point Q is because Q has the same X value as R. So I can tell how far this line went from P to Q as it rose up to, to 4 and then over. R is the same distance as Q. So what we can say is the distance from P to Q is a distance of 1. And when we know that that is a distance of 1 and, that's, uh, and we rise over our run, anything divided by 1 is itself. So in order to find the slope of this line, since Q is the same as R and it's one away from P on the horizontal move to the right, then the height, the rise, is 4. And anything divided by 1 is itself, so the slope, and we use a variable, M for slope, equals 4 over 1 or just simply 4.
Okay, so with that in mind, I know that the distance from P to Q is one. So all I need to do is go up one to count up. And since I went up three, three over one is equal to three. So M, the slope, equals three. So now I'm just trying to get you to realize that the variable M is our slope. So I'm just going to keep saying that. But I'm going to be writing M equals now instead of the word slope. Okay, number three says, which of the lines in exercises one and two is steeper? Compare the slopes of each of the lines. Is there a relationship between steepness? Is there a relationship between steepness and slope? So when I go back and I look, number one, the slope was four, and number two, the slope was three. So which of the lines in exercise one and two is steeper? Well, one, M equaled four, and in two, M equaled three. Therefore, the slope, let me write that instead of M, the slope of number one was steeper. Okay, so the steeper a line, the greater the slope. And that's what we need to now, steepness and slope. There is a relation between steepness and slope. The steeper a line is, the greater the slope. Number four, what is the slope of this non-vertical line? Well, again, we have a point here that's a distance of one. So then all I have to do is determine my rise. This time it went down one, so be careful. We went from here down one. So as if I wrote that as a ratio, since we haven't done this yet, I'd say rise, which was negative one, over one, which equals negative one. So that's my M. So M equals negative one over one. My slope is negative one. So this is a decrease, decline. So this would be like going down a hill, not going up, because we go from left to right. Okay. Number five, what is the slope of this non-vertical line? Again, we have a run of one. So now I can say M equals something over one, but that's not necessary. So I'm just going to, because anything over one is itself. So all I need to do is count how far down this went. So it went down one, two, three, four units. That's a minus four. So my slope equals negative four. Okay, number six says, what is the slope of this non-vertical line? So here's the line right here. So if I go from P to Q, I went to the right one. So, and then I, so it's rise over run. So I didn't rise any, I stayed on the same level. So from P to Q, I rose zero and I went to the right or I went over one. So my slope equals zero over one, which equals zero. And if I continued this, now I'll change colors. To get from Q to R, I went a distance of 2. But I didn't rise any again. So in this case, my slope is rise 0 and over 2, which is also 0. So a horizontal line has a slope of 0. Okay, that is the end of lesson 15. Review this very important lesson summary and go do your problem set.